welcome back to my channel we have an amazing math question to solve we are asked to find x if x multiplied by x multiplied by x minus x multiplied by x is equal to 100 now first this is equal to x to the power of 3 right minus this is equal to x to the power of 2 is equal to 100 all right now i want us to note that this x can be any number all right so x can be any number now this question is saying that a certain number is raised to the power of 3 minus that same number is raised to the power of 2 and this is equal to 100 now do we have a certain number that when we raise it to the power of 3 minus that same number to my uh, raised to the power of 2 we give us 100 and that is true because when you say 5 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 2 you have 1 to 5 minus 25 and this is also equal to 100 so that is exactly what we are going to replace this with okay so we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 is equal to 1 to 5 minus 25 now we continue so we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 now let's transfer this to this side if we do that we have minus 1 2 5 and if we transfer this to this side minus we change to plus we have plus 25 is equal to 0 all right so now we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus now 1 to 5 is 5 to the power of 3 plus this is 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. let us collect like terms in terms of power okay if we do that we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 then minus x to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2 is equal to zero okay so we can write this as x to the power of three minus five to the power of three minus now if i use choose to use minus then i'll have x to the power of two minus all right five to the power of two is equal to zero because minus times minus will give us plus okay now recall that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared okay now we have this a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b now let us write what we have here we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 okay then minus x to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 0 now we are going to expand this using this and this okay if we do that we have x minus 5 for this bracket x squared plus 5 times x which is 5x plus 5 squared then minus for this we will have x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 5 and everything is equal to 0 so when you look at this you see we have x minus 5 here and x minus 5 on the other side as well let's factorize it out if we do that we have when this is divided by this we have this remaining so we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared is 25 then minus 
when two of them is divided by this, you are left with x plus 5, okay? x plus 5. All right? And this is equal to 0. So we have x minus 5 into x squared plus 5x plus 25. Then minus times x is minus x. Minus times plus 5 is minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we have x minus 5 into, let's collect like terms, x squared, uh, we have only one x squared, so we bring it out, then plus 5x minus x. We give us plus 4x. Plus 25 minus 5. We give us plus 20 is equal to 0. If this is the first time you have seen us, please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos, all right? Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and turn it at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by the grace of God, okay? Thank you very much. Now, this is what we have. So, you can say x minus 5 is equal to 0. And x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. From here, we can say x minus 5 equals 0. So, x is equal to this, we go to this side to become plus 5. Now, this is the first value of our x, okay? Regarding this, we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, using the ideal um, quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. If we compare this and this, we can see that a is equal to one, b is equal to four, and c is equal to 20. Now, let us solve this using the quadratic equation formula. And that states that x is equal to minus b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now let's continue. So we can say that x is equal to Minus b, that is minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 4 squared, minus 4ac, 4 multiplied by, remember that our a is 1, and our c is 20. Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of... Now 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 20 is 80 divided by 2. x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 64 divided by 2. x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root. Okay, this sentence has square root of 64 multiplied by square root of minus 1, right? Yes, because square root of a b is equal to square root of a 
multiplied by square root of b. Now, everything divided by 2. So, our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 8. Now, square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. So, we have x is equal to, let's factorize 2 from here. If we do that, we have two brackets. Minus 4 divided by 2, we give us minus 2, plus or minus 8i divided by 2, we give us 4i, everything divided by 2. So x is equal to, this 2 we can see itself and we are left with minus 2, plus or minus 4i. So this is the second and the third value of our x. Now we got the first value of x to be 5 and the second value of x to be minus 2 plus 4i. The third value of x to be minus 2 minus 4i. Now let us verify. So we got x to be 5. We have 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5. Minus 5, multiplied by 5, is equal to 100. Now, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 1, 2, 5, minus 5 times 5 is 25, is equal to 100. Now, we can see that 125 minus 25 will give us 100. And 100 is equal to 100. So that proves that the answer we got is right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I wish to see you in my next video. Bye.